for another video. Today I will be doing a tutorial on autonomous, which is quite like the last video, except it's not no drive control. So, hello, uh, today we are going to be using a program that I've rewritten, just to explain it. So in this program, we're going to use a touch LED on my robot. And so it starts with a wait until, just so that it triggers the program so it starts. It starts by changing the touch LED green, so then it's, I know it started. Then it drives forward, um, one rotation. And, uh, and this is a comment, which is um, just so then it is more simpler to read. Then it the robot turns right, one rotation, and one rotation is about 90 degrees with my robot. It drives forward, and then it moves the claw, um, so, so it closes onto the ring and lifts it up in the next one, which is 2.5 rotation, so it goes behind the robot. And this program may look quite familiar, because it's the one I used for my driver assist. And I often get bits of my autonomous and put them in driver assist because um, it pretty much can do the same thing in a different place. So uh, then it just put, close, opens the core, drops the ring in the back, um, and puts the arm back to the front, drives forward and just a tiny bit and turns left and goes backwards and it finishes there. So I'm just gonna show you what it does. Just gonna dial it to the robot. So I've selected the autonomous program and I'm in it. And now I'm just gonna press the LED and it's just gonna go straight to start. And that's it! This is as simple as it gets. You can add many other lines and to create a better program. But the program isn't without a problem. The robot might not always do what you want it to do. It, it has lots of variability. And there are lots of common solutions to common problems that the robot does. And I'll cover most of these in my next video.